Tambourine Mountain is about 500 metres above sea level, resulting in a unique environment, both temperate and subtropical. The Botanic Gardens covers 13 hectares, about half of which is covered in natural subtropical rainforest. We are entirely managed by a team of about 40 volunteers. Hello, my name is Margaret Bell and I'm a volunteer at Tambourine Mountain Botanic Gardens. Botanic gardens play an important role in the conservation of plant species and future generations of all living things. Climate change and recent events such as Australia's last bushfire season have highlighted the vulnerability of many plants and animals. Threatened plant species are increasing across Australia and New Zealand and they depend on botanic gardens for long-term survival. We would like to tell you about a plant that is special to the gardens team. We have chosen a fascinating rare plant, Zieria colina, commonly known as hill Zieria. We have recently started propagating cuttings with the intention of planting up several more rainforest edges. I'm going to bury one, two, three nodes down the side of that pot each one of those nodes is a growing point. I pop that in my holding solution and um, take another piece. I think if we grew some of these, um, it would be a real novelty. I take each cutting individually and dip it into the Clonex, the hormone gel pop it in the side like that and repeat that. Then I carefully press that down and that should be it. Zieria Kalina is one of our Botanic Garden's treasured rainforest species. It grows naturally only on Tambourine Mountain and down the western slopes towards the town of Canungra. Zieria Kalina is a small three metre high bush that has unusual trifoliate lanceolate shaped leaves. They grow in the form of a triplet that looks similar to a fleur-de-lis. The leaves are shiny on top and densely hairy underneath. The plant has minute but quaint four petaled white flowers which usually are less than half a centimetre in diameter. Zieria colina is closely related to the Baronia genus and this is very evident when comparing some of the flowers. Plant biodiversity is the lifeblood of our planet and it's easy for us to forget that plants provide us clean air and water, our food, mental well-being and much more. So visit your local botanic gardens and remember to breathe.